Okay, so welcome back to the Toy Box. So in this episode, I'm going to do my top 10 rummage box finds uh, from last year. The majority items are in uh, this tin here. We've also got a couple of our larger items. Um, so each items uh, cost less than a pound, a pound or less, should I say. Uh, they came from uh, charity shops, uh, thrift shops, markets, flea markets, and car boots here in the uh, United Kingdom. Um, so I can hold a list of my top 10 items, uh, so here we go. Okay, so in at 10 we've got these Cosmic Cowboys, they're 3 inch uh, mini PVC um, figurines, uh, manufactured in 1986 by uh, Spearhead, which is a British toy company. Uh, there are larger articulated versions, very similar to He-Man. Um, there's six figures in the line, and I managed to get four of these um, uh, small uh, figurines. And I paid uh, a pound for the lot from a charity shop, so they're number 10. Okay, so in at number 9, uh, we have this mighty robot transformable uh, figure. Um, got it from a market, and the guy that was selling it was selling the contents of the closed down fairground. Uh, from the 90s and this is a mid 90s new old stock item um, never been opened and it had been used for um, uh, prizes at the uh, fairground and uh, I did kind of recognize it when I bought it I thought it looks familiar and uh, when I got home I realized why I recognize it because it is a knockoff of a um, Gundam figure which is like an anime cartoon uh, Japanese from the early 80s. Um, yeah, it's got a nice crown in it, lovely looking thing. I am tempted to open it. Um, but yeah, so it's a knockoff of a mobile suit Gundam Wing figure. Yeah, so yeah, that's at number nine. And I paid uh, a pound for that. At number eight, we've got these Palatoy pocket trumps depicting tanks. From the early 80s, um, these were 20p um, from a car boot sale, and um, because of the Palatoy logo, I have a, a warm affection with Palatoy because of um, it's a British company and they um, assembled Action Man uh, Star Wars figures and Action Force uh, figures back in the 70s and 80s. So I couldn't leave that behind, as you know, it was only 20p, it's a lovely little thing, and it's a good thing to go in the cabinet. Yeah, so that's it, number eight. Okay, so it's seven we have Leech um, from Masters of the Universe uh, toy line. I got this from the local market and it cost me a pound. Okay, so in at six we've got this Hasbro 1985 glowworm figurine. Uh, heavily advertised in the 80s, I remember seeing it as a, as a child. Um, I'd quite often see someone in school carrying the, uh, the full larger size one uh, in their arms. Um, it's just like a little uh, finger puppet figurine. So yeah, and I paid 50p from that. 50p for that from a uh, charity shop. And um, should we see if it still glows? Just charge up a bit of UV. Still glows. Okay, so in at five we have this Siege uh, Megatron figure. Um, it's relatively new, 2018, but some kids had it and they've um, foot's missing, and obviously his cannon's missing, but for 50p, I'm not going to leave that behind, and that's a good um, project fixer upper. I need to fix the foot on that, but 50p, uh, I love that, great find, uh, I got that from, um, yeah, car boot sale, uh, for 50p. Okay, so in at 4, I have a fish Price uh, 1974 Adventure People figure, uh, lovely condition, the uh, silver badge is still there, it's still got its... Um, Deck all there and uh, 
printed decal there and there. Uh, so that, that was a 50p uh, from the car boot sale, and also at the same time, I also got this uh, Paplu Last 17 Star Wars Ewok. You very rarely find uh, Star Wars figures at car boots and marks and whatnot, and it's normally overly priced. I managed to get that for 50p at the same time I got, same time I got that and I found it in a box of uh, crockery so two great little finds that day ok next we have these G1 Transformer Firecons um, they're little spark bots uh, made by Hasbro released in uh, 1980 88. I didn't know they were Transformers at first, I thought they were a McDonald's toy, but when I saw the logo, I realised they were Transformers. Uh, so I've never seen them before uh, until that day, but a lovely little find, and I'll go with the rest of my um, G1 Transformer collection. Uh, I got them from a trash shop and I paid 50p each for them, uh, as well for that little find. Okay, so in, in number two we have this Transformers G1 Action Masters three and four, three and three quarter inch figure, and he's called Banzai Tron. Uh, lovely condition, still got a sticker, limbs are all working, the band isn't snapped. Yeah, so I got that from a charity shop, and I paid a pound. Lovely little find that. So at number one, we have a, a soft toy. I don't normally go for soft toys. But there was a soft toy, soft toy bin in a charity shop, um, and this was on the very, very top. Um, and it cost me 50p. And uh, for those who don't recognise him, it's from a cartoon uh, called Raggy Dolls, which was quite popular here in the UK in the mid 80s, and it was made in. 1986, so I thought it quite sad for him, especially being called Sad Sack. So I thought I'd bring him home. Um, yeah, really pleased with that find. More the naivety, the charm, and the nostalgia more than anything else. Because when I saw it, it brought a smile to my face, brought those memories back of my childhood and watching those cartoons when I got back from school. So yeah, he's at number one. Uh, so hope you enjoyed uh, this video. My uh, Top 10 rummage finds in charity shops, push shops, markets, car boots, and whatnot. So, yeah, you know, go out there, enjoy the hunt, you know, have a rummage round, pay a little money, and enjoy the um, nostalgia and the smiles it brings to your face. Uh, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Uh, click the like button, subscribe button, and uh, yeah, make a few comments. Feedback is always appreciate it and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.